This is Cars All The Time Search Engine. I'm Galen, your host and co-host Jules. And we're here with Ben and we've got more cars to see and talk about. So let's start out with this first one here. Um, so this is a 2006 Ford GT. Uh, people know it as a Heritage Edition based on the paint scheme. And uh, this is probably, if I had to get rid of all my cars, this will be the last one that goes. Now, why is that? Um, this is the last, this, this, this car, a Ford GT, is, is really the last car that I've gotten really excited about. It is what I think kind of the pinnacle of mechanical supercars to me. So a big V8, supercharged, manual transmission, no traction control, no yaw control, doesn't have any of the ninnies that limit what you can do. The only thing that limits this car is, you know, how, how, what your driving skills are and, you know, your cojones. That's, those are the two big limits. Hey Ben, what's yes. a yaw control? Well, I know in Texas people would think it's a yaw control, but for a lot of new cars, they have all these different driving aids that make the car much more stable around a racetrack. And what that does is it is it basically um, makes you feel like you're a better driver than you are. So if you come into a corner and you're going too fast and the front end starts to push, a lot of new cars will actually apply the brake or limit the power based on how the chassis is set up, whereas cars like this don't do that. Oh, interesting. All right, now, now we're going on to the next car, which is another Ford GT, but this was special. This was different. Tell us about this one, Ben. Um, so this is different than the GT Coupes. Uh, this is called the GTX one. And when we met over at Houston in Cars and Coffee, this was the car that I'd driven there. Um, as we discussed at that point in time, the GTX one was a kind of a one-off project by Gennady Designs and Kip Ewing. What they did is they took a regular Ford GT and they cut the roof off. And then they made some modifications, put some custom uh, buttresses and a rear clamshell on and made it a true roadster. So now, now let me ask you this. There is no top that comes to this, correct? This particular car doesn't have a factory, a factory hard top with it. There have been a few cars that have been made that have some tops that go on them. Um, but they're all customized made for it. They're all customized made, correct. Now, Kip Ewing did make those, as, as I've been told, but this particular car has no hard top or soft top for that matter. I tell you what, it better not be raining when you go out in this car. <laughs> yeah, I haven't, not, knock on wood, I haven't gotten caught yet, but I've been nervous. I, I have had a Corvette before where I took the, my target top off at the house. I said, I'm just going to run up to the store right quick. And come. I, I was pouring down raining before I got home. <laughs> It happens, um, and, and again, the, the inside of that's all Alcantara, and I would hate if it did get wet. Um, just We talked about that aerial atom earlier, and I've been caught in the rain with it, and it's like a Jeep on the inside. It's all made of plastic and, and components that are made to get wet. I don't think this really was designed to be wet. Hey, Ben. Yes. Um, how is it getting in and out of this vehicle versus the Lotus? The ingress and egress in this car is much simpler. Actually, it's even much simpler than the other GTs. If you look at the GT, I can tell you countless number of people have been injured exiting this car. One of my dear friends had wow. to get stitches on his forehead because what happens is when you try to open this door, if you can't open it all the way, so for example, for example, if you look, say you can only say you can only have the door open this far, you can see it would be easy to hit your head. So that's been one of the complaints about this type of a door is that you can't have anybody parked close to you so that you can actually get in and out. Whereas in the GTX1, without this top piece, it's much easier to get in and out of the car. What's the value on something like this? Uh, the GTX1s that I've seen in the recent market are between 350 and 400,000. Wow.